Hey, today I'm going to show you how to take a slide from Google Slides and put it into an activity in Seesaw. So here is a Google Slide that I made on number of the day. I'm going to click on that slide, make sure that's the only one I click, go to File, Download As, and then I want to create a JPEG so that students can write on it in Seesaw. So on a Mac it comes down here. I can go ahead and rename this as Number of the Day. And I'm going to put it in my on my desktop just so it's easier for me to find. Okay, now I'm going to go to my Seesaw classroom. Click on the plus, create new activity, create new activity, and now I'm going to write number of the day, and I can type instructions. So I can click add, then I can write drawing tool, oops, drawing tool, or uh, they could also use the label tool to complete the, oops, the page. Okay, then at the end I'm going to want them to click the check button. Now usually I'll give more direction than this, I just want to show you quickly how it's done. So now you can also add a voice instruction so you can read this to the students. You can attach an example of what it would look like when it was completed, but what I'm going to show you how to do is add the template for the students to edit. So we'll click on that, go to add file, it's on my computer now, number of the day, and then I'm just going to click the green check button. Now I can see that this is the image in um, my activity. Click the green button. And then you will see here is the template that I want them to complete. Now the students will get the directions and the template when they see this in the activities. So when I click save, it gives me a preview of what it will look like. So it's the number of the day. They're going to click the add button, the drawing tool or the label tool to complete the page, and then they're going to click the check button. Now I can share this with you or I can share it with any of my classes. I can share it with other teachers by clicking on other teachers get the activity link, it will give me a copy of it, and I can share it directly with you. Or I can share to the Seesaw Library, and the Seesaw Library allows me to um, pick which grade levels that this would be best for. So there's many different ways to do it. Just wanted to show you how to take a Google Slide and put it into an activity library. Hope that helped.